It's John and Mike, BrutashDudes.com, and as they say in the art of war, know thy enemy. Um, that's why we're brewing hard seltzer. <laughs> I don't know. I actually had a hard seltzer like that's a tremendous. party two weeks ago, and uh, I hated it. Oh, but really? yeah, it was really sweet. It was. Uh, oh yeah. It yeah. had like a bunch of like stuff. It was in it. buried flavored. I was like, mm -hmm. this is garbage. I had to pour that one out. Anyway, but that's not going to stop me from understanding it and actually bring it at my house. So I got a one gallon batch from uh, Northern Brewer, got down all the uh, details of it, and then was able to, I'm actually making a three gallon batch. Okay. Because I had enough corn sugar to uh, match the ratio of water to corn sugar as instructed in this recipe. So, very simple. Yeah, sugar and water really a recipe? Or I don't just, it's, it's a ratio. Two, right? It's two things together. Uh, and it's one of these things where you, you, know, you heat the water up, you mix in your sugar, you make sure that it's well dissolved, you boil it for 10 minutes, and then you cool it, and then you put it into your fermenter and you throw in the, the yeast. And it's kind of like a mead process from there. Okay. So the yeast uh, strain we're using is a champagne yeast. Uh, it's the EC1118 yeah. um, from Lal Lalvin. Yeah. Um, so put that in. And then, like, the, the only funny thing is, like, typically when I make meads, I'm, I'm, I'm putting in the, the yeast nutrient and the yeast energizer, you know, a, as a part of that as well. But that's not what this, this uh, recipe calls for. You pitch your yeast, then 24 hours later, you're hitting it with yeah. the old uh, Kurt and Kathy stock mixture. Mm -hmm. and that's what they actually call it in the really? little packet. So at 24 hours uh, after okay. the start of fermentation, you're hitting that. Uh, then 48 hours and then 72 hours. And then you're just kind of monitoring until it's it's done. Huh. And then that's when all the good stuff happens, which is the flavoring and all of that. So this is actually set up so that uh, you can uh, bottle it. I'm going to keg. Yep. And our, yeah. our, our, yeah. our good friends at uh, Olive Nation, uh, they just were checking in on us and they were like, hey, we're running a promotion in August of this year on uh, coconut flavorings they have extracts mm -hmm. they've got you know dried coconut stuff they've got other coconut flavorings yep. and i was like all these i don't know we were thinking about like coconut and lime you know put it all together yep, mix yep. it all up so i told them my plan and they were like well we'll send you some lime extract as well so i have uh, cool. two things of uh, lime extract and uh, so just so people remember, these are the people who sent us those cool, the vanilla beans yep. and the, the, the really strangely dark chocolate, chocolate powder, <laughs> yes, right? Yeah, yes, that, that all that stuff. powder, right? Okay. Yeah. So check them out, olivenation.com. Uh, they're running some kind of promotion. I don't know the details, but if you go to their site, I'm sure you could learn more about it. Um, so yeah, so uh, hard seltzer, it's in the fermenter. I, you know, I have a four gallon uh, water jug that mm -hmm. I'm, I used for fermentation. Perfect, I think, for this particular yeah. Yeah. endeavor. Like, you know, it's not something that I'm going to do on the reg, but it, I just wanted to know, you know, how this whole process works. Like what, not that I, I it, it might be the same at a commercial level, but I wanted to know how it is on a homebrew level. Yeah and uh, see how it all comes out. On the surface, it seems pretty easy, right? It's water and a little bit of sugar to achieve whatever amount of alcohol you want to have in there, um, and yeast, right? Yep. But there's some challenges there because you don't have really any mineral content to help the yeast do its thing. You don't have a nutrient content for the yeast to do its thing, so you got to sort of add some of it in, but you're also trying to make seltzer, which is relatively, like, as clean as clean can get, so you, whatever, flavorings you add shine through and you don't want any yeast character either right you want it to be yep um alcoholic water basically yep. um with a little so so we'll see i mean i think making them this way with some fermentation component to it is a interesting challenge so yes. i'm looking forward to it when it yeah, comes out that's why i'm looking forward i'm looking towards the challenge like did i was i successful yeah. in what the th i thought the outcome would be and if i miss terribly yeah maybe. i should make a control seltzer with just uh, filtered water, uh, vodka, and throw it in a keg, Carbonation. and then do the same um, flavoring ratio yeah. and see what we. Yours can. will probably be better, <laughs> I think. I hope it, I hope it's 
a moderately clear. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 still pretty moderately clear. I bet you yeah, yeah. with some. Uh, Is it weird to be just fermenting a carboy <laughs> yeah. of like water? <laughs> yeah, it's like, and it's and it's because it's a champagne. I'm yeast, just flexing this yeast a little bit. <laughs> it's just yeah, it's just fizzing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you look at it and you're like. Is yeah. it actually happening? That's What's fun. going on? So, again, don't hate us. You know, it's a hard seltzer, but hey. again, it's it's something to try out. We've done we've done mead, we've done wine, we've done cider. It's not always beer, even that's what we're drinking right now. Um, it's all about fermenting at home. So, in a, in a few weeks, we'll have something to drink, and we can talk about it. We can check to see how clear it is and uh, put that whole uh, <laughs> endeavor to bed. So uh, if you've, uh, you know, if it's something that you, or you've been afraid to talk about, uh, if you've uh, made hard cider at home, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. We try to do this kind of thing every single week. For John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com, brew on. Cheers.